Hi, my name is Michelle. Welcome to my gluten-free cooking class with Epicure. I'm going to teach you how to make a full meal for your family, not only quickly, but gluten-free. Safe for anybody with celiac, gluten allergies, gluten sensitivity, or just somebody who wants to eat gluten-free for health reasons. Mm -hmm. We're going to be cooking in the Epicure multi-purpose steamer, and we're going to be making this entire meal with raw meat in the microwave. I know it sounds crazy, but trust me. We're going to start off with the rice because rice in the multi-purpose steamer takes about 20 minutes. This is a multi-level cooker. We've got the base and then we've got the shelf that can put the meat on top. We're going to start out with the rice and what we're going to do is we're going to put one cup of rice and two cups of water. So fairly simple for the rice. Now this is going to feed your whole family. We're not frying anything, we're not adding any butter. I'm gonna do two cups of rice, because we've got lots of people to feed. Two cups of rice, we're gonna add four cups of water, and I'm gonna put it in the microwave. For 10 minutes. Now, did I mention this whole thing is gonna be done in under half of an hour? So let me just fill up this water here. And there we go, four cups of rice. Sorry, four cups of water for our rice. Now, one thing that I like to do, I don't like to have plain rice. And since this is gonna be a Greek meal with Greek souvlaki, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning to the rice. I like to add our chicken broth. So I'm gonna just put two tablespoons of chicken broth, and that's just gonna season up the, the rice nicely. I'm going to stir that around a little bit using the other end of our multi-purpose measuring spoon. Mix it into a nice broth. You can see in there there's a nice broth with our gluten-free chicken broth. Everything that Epicure makes is gluten-free. We're going to seal it up. And we're going to put it in the microwave. Just make sure the lid is closed all the way. And hopefully I'll know how to use this thing. Uh, <laughs> and start. There we go. So for the 10 minutes that that's cooking, I'm going to get our chicken ready. And just in case you're not sure what to do or how to make the chicken, the great thing about Epicure is that on the bottle, you have instructions on every bottle. So if you're not sure how to do something or, you, or you're not very familiar with cooking, you can see exactly how to do it. So it says cook one pound of cubed chicken, pork, or lamb with two sliced bell peppers and two tablespoons each of seasoning, olive oil, and lemon juice. Very simple, easy to follow. So let's get on that. So we're gonna slice up the bell pepper. Now remember, all of this is being done in under 30 minutes, and we do actually have a timer going just to stay true to that. We want to make sure that we keep within the 30 minutes. This is something you can do daily so that your family can eat healthy, good quality meals quickly because, you know, we, none of us have any time for anything anymore. I have celiac disease, so I have to eat gluten-free. And I cannot eat out at any restaurant safely because people don't understand cross-contamination. So for me, Epicure has made my life so much easier. I actually have a multi-purpose cooker at home, or at work, sorry. And I actually cook lunch every single day at work using fresh ingredients. And I have a nice healthy lunch every single day and I don't have to worry about getting sick because I know that I'm using everything gluten-free and I'm eating healthy. 
And the great thing is, it also saves me a ton of money because cooking at work is a lot less expensive than eating at a restaurant every day. My meals cost me about two to three dollars on average. And I eat nice meals. I, I make actual stew, I make chicken, I make rice, I make potatoes, I make everything at work nice and fresh. My coworkers are all jealous, of course, except my one coworker because I feed her every day too. And she's filming right now. Thanks, Michelle. <laughs> So I'm just gonna slice up the peppers right now. The peppers are gonna cook with the chicken, but I'm slicing the peppers right now so that I don't have to wash the knife in between. Because clearly once we cook the chicken, this knife can't touch anything else. Or once we cut it, sorry. So the peppers are all sliced up and that's really all that I need to go with the chicken. So now I'm just gonna slice up the chicken breasts. And you'll see how nice and easy it is to slice these with a ceramic blade. Now I'm going to leave it in these kind of big pieces. You can cut it into smaller pieces or whatever size pieces you want. I'm making quite a bit today because I was asked to make extra. <laughs> so we're going to make extra. And how are we doing on our rice? We still have six minutes on our rice. Check out. Looks like I'm running out of room, so I'm actually just going to throw the chicken into this bowl. The reason I'm putting it in the bowl, I'm going to toss it for seasoning. See, this knife cuts very easily and quickly. And I hate cutting raw meat. I will never ever use a metal knife again to cut raw meat. A ceramic knife is the only way that I'll go. They are very sharp. Be very careful. We're not going to use this again. I am going to cut a lemon because we have to add lemon. So I'm going to get another cutting board. You can buy a pack of Epicure cutting boards. They come in four. You get two small and two large. So it's perfect for when you're cooking and you're cutting meat and you have to cut something else. You don't have to stop and wash in between, which makes it much, much easier. I'm just going to cut the lemon in half. I'm going to use the Epicure citrus press. I'm going to open it up. And very easily, I'm going to put all that good lemon juice. Look at how much juice comes out of there. One squeeze. And no seeds. And you'll see all the juices come out. Very easy, minimal effort. Now, read our instructions on the souvlaki. It says two tablespoons of olive oil and seasoning. Now, it also said lemon juice. I just do a half of a lemon. You don't have to put exactly what it says on here. And I'm gonna just measure out two tablespoons. And I'm gonna put a bit of extra virgin olive oil. Again, you don't have to measure it exactly, and I don't just because I don't want the olive oil going on my spoon 
and just put a little bit in there. And then we're just going to mix it up. Just to make sure that every piece of chicken gets some. You want to have the seasoning. If you could smell this, you would see that it smells fantastic. It's nice, fresh ingredients. The great thing about Epicure is they do not use preservatives. All of their seasonings are as much Canadian sourced as possible. Epicure is a Canadian company and they're actually only available in Canada right now, but will be expanding into the United States very shortly. So there you go. Now, as you notice, I've only done this right now and I'm not really marinating the meat because that's gonna be finished in two minutes. So there's really no marination going on, but with cooking in the multi-purpose steamer, it keeps all of the flavors in and it steams the meat. So you're gonna have meat that tastes like it's been marinated overnight, but you don't have to worry about marinating it. This is the great part. And we're not even 10 minutes in and I've already got my chicken, my vegetables and my rice prepared. I'm gonna follow up with making a salad. Now the great thing with salad is it's quick, it's healthy, and it's easy. The thing I don't like about salad is that all of the salad dressings you can buy today on the market are full of preservatives. Propylene glycol, things like that. We wanna stay away from all of that stuff. So we're gonna make our very own salad dressing. I'm gonna use the Epicure Cruet, which has handy measurements right on it, and I'm gonna use Greek dressing. Now, the problem is, I can't remember what I need to put in it. Oh yeah, that's great. It's right on the bottom. So, for Greek dressing, combine two tablespoons of dressing mix with three quarters cups of olive oil and one quarter cup of red wine vinegar. So, I'm gonna start with the olive oil, and they want three quarters of a cup. The cruet, you get a funnel for it, which Epicure also supplies. And we're going to do three quarters cup. And the measurement's right on the bottle, so it's nice and simple. I don't have to get out six different measuring cups to try to figure this out. There we go. Done. Then one quarter cup of red wine vinegar. got up to one cup. All of the oil and vinegar is added in and then we're going to go ahead and it's not souvlaki I want to put in there, it's Greek. I almost put the souvlaki and we're just going to put in two tablespoons right through the funnel. Makes it very easy and I'm actually just going to put the rest of this jar in because I've used it all. That's how good it is. Now normally this cruet will come with a lid, unfortunately I've lost mine, but luckily because the opening's small, I'll just put my hand over it, shake it up, and there's your homemade Greek dressing. No preservatives, no chemicals, nothing at all. Nice, fresh, homemade Greek dressing. This will stay good for up to seven days, so you can keep that for seven days. You can refrigerate it. If you refrigerate it though, you will have to bring it out so that it comes up to room temperature about a half an hour or so prior to using it because the oil will solidify. So I'm just going to take this plate out of the way. And so far, this is how our rice looks. You can see that it's starting to mm. firm up a bit. Smells great. Smell it, Ariel. Does it smell good? Mm -hmm. I'm going to put the tray in right on top of the rice. It's okay if it gets a little bit watery. And then I'm going to put the chicken right on top. Yum. 
And there we go. And then on top of the chicken, I'm gonna put the peppers. And that's it, easy peasy. I'm gonna put the lid back on and I'm gonna cook it for another 10 minutes. It's not cooked, you can't have it yet. Now be careful because this does get kind of hot. It is like any regular pot, any regular pan. When you cook in it, it gets hot. So you'll want to be careful handling it. After this is finished, I will be using gloves to take it out. Put it in. Make sure it's close up all the way, and another 10 minutes. When that's done, we'll be at the 20 minute mark. So now, I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit to show you how quickly cleanup can go. going to start on the salad. I'm going to quickly wash the knife so that we don't get sick. I should have probably used a bigger cutting board, but that's okay. My hands are clean. And there we go. The lettuce is in. Now, since I don't want to put the dressing on right now because that'll make it a little soggy, I'm actually going to make some homemade tzatziki because, you know, what's too glassy without tzatziki? Now, again, can't remember that recipe for the tzatziki either, but that's okay. I'm going to use one of our prep bowls and the lemon dilly. And the lemon dilly tells us how to make tzatziki. Three tablespoons of dip with two cups of Greek yogurt and one cup of grated cucumber. Uh, the grated cucumber is optional. I don't have any right now, so that's okay. I'm just going to use the Greek yogurt and the dip. I'm actually going to half the recipe, so I'm going to do one and a half tablespoons with one cup of Greek yogurt, or just under one cup. I'm going to be using one of the prep bowls, which is three quarters of a cup, so that's how much I'm going to use. The great thing is, you don't have to make everything full. You can always make it with a little bit less or a little bit more. Depends on how many people you're feeding. measuring spoon is it was made to be able to fit into all of these bottles with no problem. 
so we don't have any issue with measuring anything. So now I have some Greek yogurt, and this is, we've checked and made sure that it's gluten-free. Of course, everything I use is gluten-free. So I'm going to first put the lemon dilly. Now I have heard a few things about the tzatziki using the lemon dilly not being quite garlic, garlicky enough. So what I like to do is I take our kitchen staple minced garlic, which the ingredients is literally garlic. That's it. And I just take a little bit of that and I just pour it in. I don't even measure it. I just put a little bit in. That way it gives it a little extra garlic for you, especially for those that like garlic. And if you really like garlic, yeah. go ahead and put even more in. Oh, wow. oh, I forgot to get a spoon. Hold on one second. And I'm not gonna measure this because like I said, I don't really measure everything. I'm just gonna spoon it in. I know that I've used one and a half spoons of the seasoning and I'm gonna spoon this in almost to the top. And I know that's gonna be three quarters of a cup. And then we just mix it up. that all together and just let it sit while your food's cooking. Then you have nice fresh tzatziki as well. Now personally, I don't eat tzatziki because I'm not a fan of Greek yogurt, but everybody else loves it, so I have it. <laughs> of tzatziki and I like to just wipe around the edges because I don't like a sloppy edge and there you go and that'll be served out and I'll actually leave the spoon so that people can serve it out using that and that's really everything so we're literally just waiting for the microwave to beep now and we're done the great thing that I love about Epicure is all of the ingredients are gluten-free, 100%, so they're safe for me to eat. But every label that you look at, you're going to find whole ingredients. The souvlaki that we're using on the chicken, garlic, lemon pepper, spices, salt, glucose, garlic, citric acid, canola oil, lemon oil, herbs, and lemon. Everything is natural. Toasted onion is another one of our kitchen staples, and literally the ingredients are onion, and that's it. All of these, uh, most uh, Epicure products are also kosher. They're non-GMO verified, and as I said earlier, they're sourced as much as possible in Canada. Lemon dilly, ingredients, dill, herbs, garlic, onion, black pepper, and lemon. Everything that you're getting is pure, good, wholesome ingredients. You're not adding any preservatives. You're not adding anything that you can't pronounce. Um, and as we've all heard, that if you can't pronounce it, you shouldn't eat it. I certainly don't want to put anything in my body that I can't pronounce. I will tell you, with celiac disease, after going gluten-free, it's literally changed my life. And if you want to have a diet like this, people say what you eat changes your life and it changes how you feel. You know, we really don't honestly believe that until we feel it for ourselves. And when we actually feel it for ourselves, then it's phenomenal and it's life changing. Um, there's a couple other things Epicure has that's great. We have the extraordinary cheese dip. If you're entertaining and you don't know what to give to your guests, this extraordinary cheese dip is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's three ingredients from Epicure. We've got the lemon dilly, 
We've got the CCB, which is chives, cheddar, and bacon, but it is soy bacon, so you don't have to worry, and three onion. You mix those together with cream cheese, mayonnaise, or if you want a lighter option, you can use Greek yogurt, and Tanya's trying some right now, and you bake it for 20 minutes, and it is fantastic. And Tanya's going to eat some right now. Uh-huh. And she loves it. Ariel wants to have some too. What? And what do you say? Was it good? <laughs> you love it? <laughs> so we have that available as well. Our cookware mm. is fantastic. We also have utensils that are all made out of silicone. They're all food grade silicone and they're gonna outlast anything that you've ever bought in any store to use in your kitchen. Okay, we are beefing. So we're gonna check on our rice now. And see how it's doing. Now I did put a lot of chicken in there, so I might leave it in a couple minutes longer. Take mm. a look, this is what we just pulled out. And this is our chicken so far. I'm gonna just mix it up a bit and actually put it in for about two more minutes. I do notice there's still a little bit of liquid in there and they're not fully cooked because there is a lot. But like I said, we're still within our 30 minutes. We're only 20 minutes in. So we're gonna stir it up a bit and we're gonna put it, I'm gonna put another four minutes in there. Look how good that looks already. And we got four minutes and 45 seconds left in our 30 minutes. So we're gonna throw it in for another four minutes. Now imagine every single night when you come home, you can make a meal like this in your steamer and you have one dish to wash, not several pots and pans, and you can have it done from scratch, from the beginning in less than half an hour. Imagine the difference it'll make and it'll save you so much money by not going to the grocery or sorry to the restaurants every night because you're too tired to cook. And your kids can do it too. It's safe, you don't have to worry about your kids using the oven, you don't have to worry about anything. I'm gonna add some feta cheese into the salad. Just crumple some on. Now, I don't put anything other than cheese and lettuce in my Greek salad only because I don't like onions and I am allergic to tomatoes. So nothing else goes in my salad. Of course, you can put whatever you like. It's so good like that. Trust me. Okay. And I'm just gonna wash my hands again. Mm. have two minutes left on our timer. So this will be our salad. Like I said, I am a little boring with Greek salad, but that's okay. You guys will do whatever you like. But the best thing is you've got this nice fresh dressing, no propylene glycol like the Kraft brand has, nothing like that. You've got nice fresh ingredients. Tanya, smell that. Mmm. Nice and fresh. Mm. If you could smell through the phone, I would let you. I'm just going to put that lid on there right now. Shake it a little more. You want to smell it, Ariel? You want to smell that? See how that smells. It smells good. Do you like it? It smells like vinegar. It does. It has red wine vinegar in it. That's why. <laughs> so now all we're waiting for is the food to finish. Mm -hmm. Now I still have half of my lemon left over and what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to squeeze that on top after the chicken is cooked. I'm just going to clear this off here. Can you see? I haven't used the stove. I haven't used the oven. 
and it's very minimal cleanup. Which, if you're anything like me, then you're the only person who cleans in your house. Yep. You'll enjoy that feature. We've got one minute left. We also have, Epicure has uh, Good Food Real Fast kits, where you can get a full meal kit. This one happens to be the Mexican. Mexican. And this will teach you how to make Mexican meals. And it comes with a whole bunch of recipe cards so that you can make Mexican meals in minutes for your family. And the great part about it is it even tells you the price per yeah. serving. So if you want to make huevos ranchos, it's only going to cost you $3.15 wow. per serving. Wow. And it's not going to take very long in the microwave. You're looking at your prep time is five minutes and your cook time is four to six minutes. And it's going to make four portions at $3.15 a portion. So all of these are things that you can make. But you're not limited to this, but these are just ideas for you. If you go on the Epicure website, there's hundreds and hundreds of recipes. And you can get those kits. And these kits are only about 30 around $30. And this is going to make a whole lot of meals for you. Okay, so we have got the food ready. And out it comes, and like I said, it is hot. Be careful. And here's your chicken. Mm. Your chicken's all oh, done. Looks good. Everything's good. So we're going to serve this out, and once we and serve it out, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. I just separated everything for ease of sharing it out. So I'm going to share out we've got our rice and you can see some of the nice seasoning in there and that's from the chicken from our chicken broth i'm going to put some rice on the plate here this is going to be for tanya to try and then i'm also going to give her some chicken and a few little pieces of veggies Give her one more piece of chicken here. I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon. Like I said, I wanna squeeze a bit of the lemon onto that. I'm gonna actually just squeeze it directly on instead of onto all of it, because not everybody likes extra lemon. I know Tanya does. <laughs> so I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit. I don't wanna to go too much, but just a bit. And I'm gonna put a bit in her rice because I know she likes that. Just a tiny bit. There's still lots left in there. And then I'm going to come, I'm going to shake this up again. And I'm going to pour the dressing on the salad. Look at how nice that is. And you don't have to use it all. Nice, fresh Greek salad dressing.